Hi and a warm welcome back to the garden. In this video I'm going to be sowing our tomato seeds. It's that time of year again, sowing our tomato seeds. And remember, when you do sow tomato seeds, they do need to be kept frost free. So you do need to grow them inside somewhere protected. We're gonna be sowing them today, and then we're gonna get them to germinate and grow them on inside on the kitchen window ledge. It's really exciting for us because we are doing three different varieties we've never grown before. So three different types of small cherry tomato that we've never actually ever seen before, let alone grown. So the first one is one called Shimmer. And this one on the front just captivated us. It's got a lovely shape. It's like an almond or plum kind of shaped tomato. And it has red and green kind of tones to the skin. So this is looking really, really juicy. So this is one that is Shimmer. So what I've done is I've just got these trays full of multi-purpose compost and they're obviously plug trays or module trays so because these seeds are fairly large and we can handle them what I'm going to do is sow one seed in each module now it says on the packet that there's going to be in this packet only eight seeds so there's no danger of over sowing with these which is great because last year I sowed too many way too many so I'm going to be quite restrained hopefully this year so I want to get into the packet, which can be a bit of a challenge. These four packets can be a bit difficult to get into. So once I'm in, I can now have a look. So yeah, there isn't that many seeds. So I'm gonna be careful. I've got two there. And because these are such a lovely variety, I'm gonna sow all of them. You've got to be quite careful when opening these foil thing, these foil packets because you can lose seeds quite easily. And when you're only getting eight in the first place, the last thing you want to do is lose any. There's one just there in the lid there, hiding away. So I've got that one. So I'm making sure no area is unturned. Let's see how many we've got. So out of that, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm not sure if there was some in this beginning bit. Gotta make sure. Nope. So I've got five seeds here. So I'm gonna sow one per module. Oh no, I've got six. One more than I thought. So just one per module. And then what I'm going to do with the next one is I've put the label where that one ends so I can try and follow which one's which because the last thing I want to do is get them all mixed up and we're not going to know until they start fruiting so I've got to be careful now the next thing we're going to do is cover them with some vermiculite so I'm just going to give them a little bit of a sprinkle over the top just to make sure that seed is covered over and it also helps if I do this as I'm going along it'll help to know where I am in terms of where the module starts and finishes with each seed. I'm just pressing that down and that's the first one, that's the first one sown. The next seed I'm going to be sowing is one called Gold Crone and this has a lovely yellowish kind of skin to it and this again is another one that's quite a small one, ideal for snacking it says on the packet which is perfect. So on this one it states we're going to have average of 10 seeds so let's just see how many we can get so 
It's always an exciting moment when you open a packet of seeds. It's like anticipation. All the things you can grow just from a little seed. Absolutely fascinating. So, I'm just going to tip them onto my hand. Okay, so good size. Let's see how many we've got. We've got one. We've got two, three, four, five, six. There might have been two stuck together then. I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and then the next one will go in that bit there. Vermiculite for the top, just to cover them over. And then just press to make sure they've got good contact. I'm just going to remove that. I don't know where that's come from. And then the last one I'm going to do is one called Indigo Cherry Drops. And this one looks absolutely delicious with that dark skin. Very dark, almost like a plum red. Beautiful. Very high in flavour. And it looks absolutely fantastic. So again, we're going to be really enjoying this one. So this one says it's got six seeds. So let's have a look. And let's see what's inside the packet. So I've got four modules left there. And I'm going to have to use some more of this other tray I think to continue it so I'm starting off got one two three four five six let me just make sure there are any more yeah, so I've got a bonus one on this one I've got number seven which makes up for the couple of them other ones that I've not got so the next label I'm going to start there and that will continue throughout and then let's just pop a little bit of immaculate over the top of these Now lastly, I'm going to be sowing some of the one we saw last year, which is Tomato Moneymaker. And we do like this one. This is more of a dessert size. So it's not a cherry one, this one. And because I've got the rest of the modules free, I'm going to sow the rest of the seeds in each one of those modules. And we really did enjoy this one last year. It really was a really good, good taste, good grower. And we even had some outside and also inside the summer house, which did really well. So we've been able to get a good crop from the amount of plants that we had. So I'm just going to be sowing in the rest of these spare modules, this one. And if you didn't see the video we did last year, about how to save your own seed from these fruits. Please take a look at that. I'll try and put the link on above the 
video so you can have a look at that because it is really easy and especially with the ones I've just sown which are quite expensive for the amount of seeds that you get it is really worthwhile when the seed, when the fruits are there that you do try and save some of the seed because it is quite an expensive um, thing to, to keep buying if you want to get all these fancy varieties and the good thing about the, these module trays is that it just prevents me particularly um, not sowing too many seeds because if you get a seed tray and you sow them on the surface you can get a bit carried away and when you do that you do over sow and then we had a situation last year that we just had too many so that's the rest of that module finished and I'll just put some vermiculite over the surface to cover those seeds up with I do find that when you do put things like this in the house if you leave the soil bare or you put compost over it you can kind of get that gnat that comes around with your on the surface of the soil but I find that when you put a layer of something like vermiculite over the top it does kind of help and does prevent that from happening especially when you're going to be putting these like in a kitchen like we are the last thing you want to do is having all those soil gnats flying around so that's all my seeds sown today. So all these will be watered from beneath. So I'm going to place these into a tray of water and the water will be drawn up from that, from that tray and it will soak all the compost and get the seeds nice and ready. And then these will be placed inside. So inside our kitchen where it's nice and warm and these will germinate away. With regards to the progression of these, once these get to a size that I can manage, and the looks like the, the root because you can see these trays are wonderful because you can see right through them you can see the root development because you can see the soil through the through the green plastic you can see the roots which means you can see when they're filling up those little wells and then we can pop them out into larger pots and then grow them on so they're really really useful thank you so much for watching this video on sowing tomato seeds we're trying some new varieties. It'd be interesting to let us know in the comments what you're going to try this year. There are so many varieties out there, so many types, and we just thought, we saw these last year, and they're actually quite reduced towards the end of last season. So we managed to get a really good price on these. I think they were half price in the garden centre. So we're not too bothered that you don't get that many seeds. It's fine. We can save the seeds from the fruits that developed this year and have them for many, many years to come. Please give us a like please subscribe and like I say if you've got any comments tell us what you're growing any tips and hints you want to give to some of our viewers that's fantastic and we will see you very very soon on the next one in the meantime please do take care mm -hmm.